You know how after you listen to a song or you buy something online, you get recommendations for other things that you might like. That's artificial intelligence. It's called machine learning, and those machines are learning and making decisions about you and me. A summer camp at the University of Rochester is helping high school students from all around the world get behind the curtain of those machines. And Chief Investigative Reporter Berkeley Breen was invited into the room. This looks like your typical computer lab, but students like Sarah Eichinger and Teddy Burstein are learning how to use machines to input data that would take humans days, weeks, or months to understand and instead get a clear picture almost immediately. I didn't know that's how, like when I use Goodreads or TikTok, all of the videos or books that come up are from AI. It takes what I've recently watched and liked or read and liked and it gives me recommendations based off of those things. Sarah is a rising junior at Pittsford Menden. Teddy will be a senior at his high school in Maryland. I think the biggest question is when looking at how AI has evolved so quickly in the recent years compared to, and it's honestly, it's, we're trying to keep up, is they're going to get to a point where the computers are going to be smarter than us. The students are learning AI developed at the U of R to take huge amounts of data and understand what it means. Massive data on things like income, crops, sports and health care, and then use machines to make predictions. The instructors are computer science graduate students at the U of R. Today, Neely Pate, one of them, talked about the ethics of AI. What is the number one ethical thing you're trying to impart? The number one ethical thing I'm trying to impart is to think about ethics before you do anything rather than after. Dr. Jen Bai is leading the research. She says the takeaway for the students and their parents and classmates awareness, is awareness. Right? I mean, AI technology, no matter or not you learn it in classroom, is around us. It's really impacting our daily decisions. This is one of several summer programs for high school students at the U of R, but this one is focused on artificial intelligence, machine learning tools, and trying to understand all the data that is around us every day, all the data we use every day, whether we realize it or not. At the U of R, Berkeley Bree News 10, NBC. Think about how much artificial intelligence is in our lives every day. According to Forbes magazine, ChatGPT got one million users within its first five days. One in 10 cars will be self-driving by 2030. Half of all cell phone users in the U.S. use voice search every day. I know I do. Almost eight out of 10 people think AI will cause someone to lose their job next year.